what keep you inspired though? Like just to keep putting out like you know what I'm saying like classic material though. Man, I uh, that's an excellent question. I think I made a decision um, to make a long story short. Like before I got my first solo deal, um, the label was interested in me as an artist because they liked my voice. So they put me with all of these producers. We talking about in the '90s, right? Mm -hmm. And you know there was a very distinctive sound of R&B in the 90s. Uh, and so they put me with all these producers that were, were getting placements and this, that, and the other. And it was like, I sounded good on the songs, but there was some disconnect between the track and me. And so I said, how about this? How about this? How about this? Let me just go back to Milwaukee. I'll post up in the studio. I had a little bedroom studio. I'll call some of my cats in Milwaukee. I'm gonna write some songs. And I'm going to just like do me. And when I got back to my, Milwaukee, I wrote all these songs. <clears throat> and so when, when I let her hear that demo, the Milwaukee demo, they were like, that's it. So I think from that moment, I made the decision, you know what? I'm only going to record music that gives me those goosebumps of when I felt earth, when I heard Earth, Wind and Fire for the first time, when I was listening to Bobby Caldwell, when I hear uh, Donny Hathaway's voice. I want to use that as the barometer, you know, regardless of what's happening trend-wise in music, I'm gonna use that. So that's why I call the record true to myself. And that's why every time I write, that's my inspiration. I'm gonna pull from my life and I'm gonna just make sure it comes from like this authentic R&B place.